puzzles and boxes. So this is a really fun project uh, using the lasers to do all kinds of different things, a variety of jigsaw puzzles and a variety of boxes, right? So you can customize this into all kinds of possibilities. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some different options uh, for, for printing, for lasering, all kinds of uh, different styles of jigsaw puzzles, and then boxes, right? Lots of varieties, much more possibilities than seen here, as well as a source of some free files that are fully customizable, all kinds of options. So stay tuned, here we go, puzzles and boxes. So first up, I wanna show this really cool new option. Uh, this is with a new laser, the uh, X-Tool M1 Ultra. It actually has a print head. Uh, so an inkjet print head uh, where you can print directly to wood. And so here, uh, just printing to some basswood, I can get a really cool color effect. Now obviously you can do this with, you know, lots of those other printers like a UV printer or a direct to vinyl or garment, but that's a lot of other steps. That's a multiple tool. So here is a great option uh, if you're looking to expand. This is not supposed to be an ad, uh, but this is a cool new feature with the M1 Ultra uh, where you can uh, go ahead and print directly to uh, the, the wood itself. And so uh, here you can see it after it's been cut. I did switch it over to another laser. I was doing quite a few. Uh, so you'll see a couple different lasers throughout. Uh, but the, the color is still there. And so uh, no need for a clear coat after. Uh, still get pretty good results printing directly to the wood. Uh, so that is one option as far as uh, getting your picture down. Um, you could use like a sublimation printer. Uh, you're just gonna have to do some extra settings and tests to cut through. Uh, the film or like a sticker transparency, uh, but that is one option and a great new option uh, that comes with this uh, with this laser uh, that has kind of those combo heads. All right, um, so you get your image down. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about some other ways as well. Uh, then go ahead and cut it on out. Uh, again, uh, this one right here, this is just a 10 watt uh, module on the M1. Obviously a 20 watt, other diode lasers would work, CO2 lasers as well. And um, you can do all kinds of different shapes. So this is actually this uh, image you see here, Orcas Island. I'll talk a little bit more about images. This one was actually designed with AI uh, within the free uh, XCS software uh, from Xtool. Uh, there's some other videos I have where I talk about using AI, uh, but this is a cool new feature that is, uh, incorporates text and image. Uh, and then a cool little circle effect, a uh, circle puzzle. Uh, I will share some files later in the video, uh, free files for both puzzles and for boxes, uh, customizable. Um, so anyway, puzzles, pretty, pretty simple. You add your image, uh, you cut it out to shape uh, and size. Uh, but again, here, I'm just showing you a little bit slower, uh, the results uh, where the, that ink doesn't come off at all, um, it does cure or adhere rather well. Uh, lots of possibilities. Obviously, you could do some family photos. Uh, you could do a big, a big image like this. Uh, this is an image I got from Creative Fabrica. Uh, we'll talk about that, some other options. But yeah, it just prints straight, straight to the basswood. Kind of cool. So if you don't have this particular laser, you can absolutely, obviously, still do this project. Um, you just add other images, or you could just engrave, right? So these are laser machines. You can just engrave directly to the wood. Uh, so here I have some oak plywood and I'm engraving in the wood, uh, you know, a pretty cool hexagonal shape. This is some more uh, AI art that I designed uh, just, you know, with some line art prompts. Um, you can see this particular one in my coaster video. I talked a lot about how to get these results uh, with AI in my coaster video uh, on the channel. But just went ahead and engraved it. And uh, then I did move this over to another laser just because I was doing multiple lasers. Uh, but this was kind of a fun one, a really unique file uh, with lots of uh, hexagonal pieces. Um, there was a little bit more play on these pieces. I'll, I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, but Again, with, with the options, so many options, uh, but went ahead, engraved it, and then uh, just went ahead and cut it on the laser. I can see one of the boxes there. I will talk a lot more about boxes, some cool options, customizable boxes uh, later in the video. Uh, but you know, puzzle inbox, pretty cool. But like I was mentioning, there was a little bit more play with this particular file. Uh, it was a little bit more challenging to put this one together, but we did. Oh, we were successful. You know, the wood grain helped us. Uh, it burned a little bit uh, deeper, so you might want to mess around with settings a bit. I uh, can have a matching 
top to see what it is, but you can see how there's a little bit more play there. It might have cut a little bit more with the kerf, um, you know, so it's not necessarily uh, the, the P2 that I used, the CO2 laser uh, with a bigger head because I didn't have uh, the same problem with some of the other laser files. So it might have just been this laser file. So you definitely want to test it out uh, before doing a big batch production uh, and, and maybe, you know, actually build the puzzle, uh, ensure that it comes back together easily. Oh, it's pretty fun. Um, so like you saw just earlier there, this particular one with the orca whale and the fairy and the bald eagle had a matching lid uh, wood burn. So again, you have that reference point, um, but pretty fun. Okay, on to boxes. So many options for boxes. Um, some really cool ones that I've made uh, this last year. Uh, but right here, uh, using that new M1 Ultra, uh, 10 watt can cut it out just fine. Uh, switching over to a CO2 laser here. This is the Xtool P2. Um, you can see I'm cutting lots of little intricate little patterns. Uh, this is for some flex, uh, for a heart-shaped one that you'll see shortly. Um, but uh, lots of files. Again, we'll get into that in a second, but this is pretty satisfying. Uh, cut it out pretty quickly uh, here with just some thinner wood, lots of different materials. Uh, here's another diode machine. This is the S1 uh, using the 40-watt module. Uh, but if you're wanting to cut out boxes and do a lot of different boxes, 10 watt obviously works. Uh, the more power, the faster you can go uh, with less charring. Uh, but this was a fun one with a little bit of flex uh, here. And we'll, we'll show this exact file shortly. But um, once you got it, go ahead and assemble. This one in particular, I used a pre-finished wood. Uh, so that's a great option. You're just going to have to remove some of the um, you know, markings. So here I have some isopropyl alcohol uh, just to kind of wipe off uh, some of the, the char. And then I'm assembling. For the most part, this particular one, uh, the file was so perfect and I just had a friction fit. I didn't actually add uh, any super glue on a couple of them. I, I definitely did. You'll see that in a second. Uh, if you're using super glue, I really do recommend uh, the Starbond CA glue uh, with their accelerator. It just makes things so quick, so fast. I'm using the thick um, just to apply. Uh, but here you can see some different options with some sapili, some maple, some birch. Here's that flexible heart one uh, where you can get some really cool, cool shapes uh, with all those different cuts uh, in between. A uh, little heart-shaped box. Again, that one will be featured in the files uh, I'll share later in the video. Uh, but just assembling, you know, step by step, a little glue, a little activator makes it really quick. Here's that flex box. Uh, most of these, there's going to be little labels on the file or directions, uh, but you'll figure it out. It's pretty intuitive uh, to put together, but lots of different possibilities, obviously for puzzles, uh, but for other applications as well. Uh, you can scale these up to much bigger sizes. All right, so for the puzzles itself, another option if you're going to do some mass production is just getting these mailer boxes. Boxes. And going back to that printer head, I can print directly on uh, to the cardboard itself. And you know that reference. This is a really great option uh, if you're trying to do a bulk order or you know a big custom order. So this is another option. You can get these mailer boxes in all sizes. These are a little bit smaller just for some little sample uh, sample puzzles. Uh, you certainly could also just print it a sticker. Uh, so here I'm just doing it all in the one machine itself, the M1 Ultra. Uh, you could just print on a transparency, uh, like an inkjet uh, printer, laser printer, and then just cut it out after the fact if you don't have this particular laser. Uh, but this, again, is a, is a great option. Look for a full video. I know this sounds like an ad. Uh, it's just cool. It's a new laser I have, and I'm trying explore all the possibilities and these are some really great applications of that print head uh, but look for more on this laser and what it can do uh, it also has that you know, you know blade so I can just go ahead and cut it like a cricket uh, right right there all in one machine and pull out my stickers and then go ahead and adhere them uh, to the boxes but that print head is just really cool, really cool. So you saw that heart puzzle earlier uh, I could have printed directly on the wood itself for the lid but I did want to share, uh, you know, just you can do the stickers. You can do these little sticker options as well. And so uh, print it, 
cut it and then go ahead and just stick it on top. Uh, nice little reference, looks pretty classy. Uh, so lots of possibilities here. This is just a, a, an initial look with some different ideas. Uh, but those mailer boxes, that's a great, a great option if you don't uh, wanna take the time to make your own boxes. I, of course, like doing my own laser cut boxes. But this is a quick, a quick and easy uh, option if you're you know, doing some mass production. My kids sure loved helping design and uh, you know, give some ideas and, and put it together. Uh, here we actually are on Orcas Island. Uh, family vacation, uh, put together this little puzzle and we made these for the cousins and put together all kinds of different little puzzles and it was pretty fun. So these are just some of the possibilities, right? So obviously the print head allows for quite a bit. Uh, you could do some sublimation uh, where you can get a blank and then you can do sublimation, but you just need a sublimation printer, a heat press, there's a couple more steps involved. Uh, this you could just do the whole thing with one of these lasers. Uh, obviously, this is a really cool look. Uh, it's just getting the wood, different colored woods, and, and doing lasering. Uh, don't have to worry about the print head at all. You could paint your boxes. You could stain your boxes. Uh, you can use a pre-finished box. It's really, really clean. Uh, just super, super nice, and you just kind of wipe it down with some um, isopropyl alcohol. Um, you can add different finishes to these. Plenty of options. Obviously, these boxes are fun. You could scale that up to bigger sizes. But uh, this is a great uh, potential money maker uh, to do, you know, custom family uh, puzzles. You can do all kinds of, you know, these would be great ones for business. You could do a batch production of that. Uh, so lots of different possibilities here. And then the boxes, they're just, they're just so cool, right? So cool. All the possibilities. So just want to give you a little closer look at the finished product on some of these. Don't worry, we're going to get to the files, those free files in design shortly. Uh, but just so many possibilities, uh, like we just mentioned. But here's a closer look at the results here. Hopefully give some ideas uh, on how to pull off some cool projects. All right, let's talk software real quick. So we're gonna talk about uh, the software, uh, where to get these files, both for the boxes and for the puzzles. Um, so, uh, lots of different files out there. Basically, you can find any image you want, uh, any image you want online. Uh, if you're gonna do the printer head, right, obviously I can do a family pick, any picture. Uh, if you have the M1 Ultra, it has the inkjet printing. And so it's so simple, it's, it's, it's literally add the picture, just use the stock settings process, you're done. Uh, as far as other images, the same idea. Uh, but for the actual puzzles uh, themselves, so all these different puzzle files, there's lots of places to find them. You can certainly go to Etsy and uh, pay for those files. Same thing with the boxes, you can go to Etsy. Uh, the thing is, if you go to Etsy, it's gonna be probably you know three, four bucks for one file. Uh, a new option that I've been doing a lot is Creative Fabrica. So Creative Fabrica, it is totally different, right? And so it's more of a subscription uh, where you pay, you know, you know, a couple bucks, the cost of one or two files, and you can have unlimited downloads. And so uh, I do have a, uh, so basically like the idea here, like I click on any of these little uh, jigsaw puzzle kits and it's just a download. I don't have to pay anything. It's just a download. Or if I wanted to do uh, boxes, right? So I could search box SVG and there's all these different files. If I was on Etsy, I would have to buy these individual files. Well, if I have a Creative Fabrica subscription, subscription, I just click, you know, oh, this looks cool. And then I just go and I just download and download. What's great about Creative Fabrica, everything has a commercial license. Um, so you can sell these things. Uh, there's lots unlimited downloads. It's it's fantastic. Now I do have a link uh, that gets you 10 free downloads and a, and a great deal. It is an affiliate link, helps support the channel. So you can check out that, uh, check that out down below. Uh, but obviously it's great for lasers with these really cool, uh, fi so many cool files, uh, but also great artwork, lots of great SVG files for graphics all kinds of laser applications. So highly recommend that. Check out that link down below. I also have a secret, a secret surprise. Uh, it's this website right here. Uh, so this website, uh, it is, my goodness, I will leave a link down below to this. Um, it's not boxes.py, it's boxes.hackerspace, 
hackerspace-bamberg-point.de. Um, anyway, this is an amazing, amazing file where um, you can see some of these ones uh, that you saw uh, in the build. So, you know, an angled box, all these different ones. So let's say I want to do um, the sliding drawer. I did this one. You just click on it. And you can add your parameters so you can customize a box. Um, so this is really cool for the boxes uh, specifically. Uh, this looks, you know, it's free, open source. Someone just, you know, created this program. Uh, so you know, I can change, uh, you know, the dimensions. I can change the height, uh, and then, uh, you know, okay, I'm going to generate it. And so I could generate it and just see really quickly what it looks like. Or uh, I could just download it right away. And then uh, that's how I did these files here. So these uh, right here. We're just downloaded from that website uh, for a lot of these boxes where I could customize them to the size I wanted, uh, depending on my puzzles, how many puzzle pieces I had. I've also used these for other applications, not just puzzles. Uh, you know, another great box. Let's go ahead and go back and show you this one. Uh, these boxes with flex, these are so cool. So the heart box, I definitely did that one. Uh, I did the shutter box a while ago, uh, but lots of other applications here. So this is a free website. Uh, you know, I don't get any kickback from this whatsoever. This is just something I don't don't know where I stumbled upon, but it's an open source box generator. Uh, it is so cool, so cool. So if you have other tips, other websites like these uh, sources, please leave a comment down below uh, to share with everyone. Uh, this has been an awesome resource and this is 100% free. The Creative Fabrica, it's not uh, completely free, but if you use the link uh, that I have down below, you're gonna at least get 10 free downloads, which is fantastic. Uh, but again, it's, it's the cost of one or two files uh, is unlimited downloads. So I definitely highly recommend it. I've probably downloaded just in this last month, I don't know, over a hundred different files. Um, it's fantastic. So anyway, check those out. Uh, software, super easy. You know, again, with all of this, I would just do, you know, my cut settings, whatever. Xtool makes things so easy. Uh, you know, whatever material I have, there's the preset settings, uh, whatever machine. Uh, again, you can use this on any machine. So anyway, there you have it. Well, there you have it, puzzles and boxes. If this video provided value for you, please consider subscribing to see more videos like this. All kinds of laser content, a lot of different types of laser machines, as well as you know some woodwork, some other things. Again, with all of these lasers, you can run these in your home. Uh, they can all be run in your home. You don't need a garage or a big maker space like this. Uh, you can just run in your home, vent it out the window, or get one of the air purifiers. Really easy, super intuitive, and I, I love it. It's, it's a blast, so you'll enjoy it too. If you are looking to get a laser, uh, make a purchase, uh, got some great deals. Uh, Xtool does send these to me in exchange for video content. Uh, we do have this affiliate link where we get a portion uh, of each sale. Uh, there is a great deal discount associated with that as well. But Xtool is just fantastic because they have amazing customer service. There is a, an extensive user base. There are a ton of Xtool users worldwide who are constantly just putting out uh, content, uh, whether it's YouTube or socials, but also uh, on Xtool's own uh, design find, lots of different choices to choose from there. And then their Facebook groups. Their Facebook groups, there's quite a few that give all kinds of ideas. Uh, other users who are quick to share their settings and other tips. Uh, really, really great and I, so many great things. So definitely worth checking out. You can use the links down below. If you're curious about any of the materials I use, you can use the links down below as well. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully uh, this did add that value. And uh, until next time, take care.